Hey Capricorn, I hope you're doing well. This is going to be a January 2024 reading. Any information you need, you can find it down below, Capricorn. Okay, you have the uh, Six of Pentacles, the King of Wands, and the High Priestess showing up here, okay? So, um, Six of Pentacles, somebody here might have their Moon in Taurus or their Moon in Libra. But with this energy being present here, sometimes like this can talk about planting seeds. I do think for some of you, you're being more intentional, and I think that's another reason the King of Wands and the High Priestess is here. It's like the King of Wands energy, I feel like you are uh, really in tune with your desires. You know, you know what it is that you want, and you know, I think that because of this, you're trying to weed out what it is that you don't want. So the High Priestess energy, um, you know, being present here, I feel like that's you being more intentional, and the Six of Pentacles, I feel like that's regarding like the, the seeds that you're planting. You know, for some of you Capricorn, you could be like doing a mind dump, getting out, you know, all the junk, all the clutter. Maybe this is something that you are making a habit of right it could be something you're doing in the mornings like you're just getting out everything that's on your brain right it could be something like that um which can be really helpful you know you have the sun showing up right here yeah i feel like this could actually put you in a really high vibration for the day so that could be something that you're starting to do maybe it's a habit that you're uh, implementing in january or something like that maybe it's like just journaling or something let's see what else we have you know, I do feel like spirit is trying to like let you know that the worst is behind you in a situation. I feel like you're getting your spark back. You know, I feel like you're getting your spark back and I feel like this time you aren't going to lose it. Um, you know, I feel like there could have been a situation where there was trickery, theft, deception. Yeah, definitely a past situation here. So I'm not predicting this. Um, it could have been with a Scorpio or somebody who had um, an air, sun, moon, or rising got Pisces and Leo energy here as well as Capricorn, okay? But yeah, Capricorn, I feel like spirit is really trying to tell you that the worst is behind you. It's time to plant new seeds. You know, again, I feel like you're being more intentional about what you want moving forward. I think that's another reason the sun is here. I feel like there's a lot of self-development going on, self-discovery, um, you know, because the sun, like, when, when we look at astrology, that talks about the self. So I feel like you're like looking more at yourself and you know what you can do moving forward rather than trying to control something that happened in the past or trying to prevent it from happening in the future. Like, yeah, we want to learn from, you know, whatever happened in the past, but at the same time, we can't obsess over it, you know? And I think that's something you're learning. I feel like you're learning to set boundaries with that energy when, you know, fears about the past come creeping back in. I feel like you're shutting it down. You're not allowing it to steal the present or to steal the future. So I think that's something that's important, uh, you know, to remember as well, Capricorn, throughout January. Let's see. And, you know, throughout the rest of time as well. Four of Wands, laying down new roots. Some of you, there's a new commitment coming in here, Capricorn. Um, Queen of Cups energy is showing up right here as well. Yeah, you really want to be cautious of keeping your heart space closed off because of something from the past. Like her cup is closed, her like open shell, you know, can signify like just overthinking things. You have the Queen of Pentacles showing up as well. Um, I feel like you could also be in a space where you're being too like realistic, okay? Um, you know, and I know that doesn't sound like such a bad thing, but sometimes like being too realistic can be pessimistic, okay? Like that can say that, you know, what you see is all there is, right? Or what you have seen is all there is, right? Um... So you got to be careful of that type of mindset, you know, like all men are this or all women are that. Like that's really going to get you nowhere. It, it does a disservice to everyone involved. Four of Wands energy showing up right here. Like I said, I feel like you're laying down new roots. A wish is being fulfilled here, Capricorn. Yeah, and I feel like this has been slow moving, and I think, you know, part of the slow movement has also been all this armor that you have on here as well, Capricorn. This could have involved a Pisces or a Virgo, but, you know, I really feel like Spirit is, like, pushing you out of hiding. I think that someone is wanting to, like, work with you here, Capricorn, as well. I feel like someone's noticing you. I feel like you're being noticed. I feel like you're being called out. Like you're being called to the center here. <laughs> um, and I don't mean that in a bad way. I feel like it's in a good way. You know, like it's it's time to be blessed. And I feel like spirit really wants you to allow it. You know, like I said, I feel like you're getting your spark back. If you've been feeling like down in the dumps, I feel like you're going to be feeling better. You know, I feel like you are learning new ways to cope with things or learning new ways to... Um, you know, go about relationships or show up in friendships, whatever the case may be for you. I feel like there's a lot of, um, you know, new ways of being that you're learning here, Capricorn. So I love to see that for you. I hope this was helpful or fun. Details are below for anybody who's interested in Instagram or Patreon. But if this is where we part, thank you so much for being here. And uh, hopefully I will see you next time.